I use this every day and I use this multiple times a day and I go through a lot of hairspray. Kenra Volume Dry Shampoo. <laughs> dry Shampoo. <laughs> shampoo. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got part two of my 2016 favorites for y'all today. If you missed out on part one, I'll link it in a card for you guys. That one was face products and eye products. And then today is going to be lips and skincare and hair care and body care. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. So let's get to it. For lips, oh my goodness, this was a difficult category to narrow down for sure, but lip liners, that was an easy one. You guys can guess it, I'm sure. My Jordana Easy Liner for lips. My number one favorite is Tawny. This literally goes with everything. Love Tawny, but I also love Rockin' Rose. It's a really great kind of like neutral nude color. And then Baby Berry is a beautiful pinky shade. So these are the three that I reach for the most. Tawny, Rockin' Rose, Baby Berry. These are awesome. They work really well, they wear well. This one matches everything, it seems like. It's just, I get so much use out of that color. But also, these are super affordable and easy to find. You can find them at Walgreens. So those are my liner favorites, for sure. Liquid lipstick definitely got a lot of attention on YouTube this year, and I'm really picky about liquid lipstick. Like, I wear a lot of different ones, but the ones that I really enjoy wearing, I'm picky about. And these are some that I really enjoy wearing. First off are the Ofra liquid lipsticks, and then these are the Bare Minerals Gen Nude liquid lipsticks, or I think they're called the liquid lip colors. Let me start with the Ofra ones. So I have so many favorites from Ofra. Every time they come out with a new collection, I'm excited. I love it. I just feel like they make good makeup, and they make really good liquid lipsticks. These are two standouts for me. This one is Pasadena. It's a really pretty kind of like neutral, I don't know, brownie nude, mauvey brownie nude sort of a color. And then this other one is part of their Vintage Vineyard collection. This is in Cape Town. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Now they did update their packaging, so I have you know quite a few in their old packaging, which was totally fine, but their new packaging is so nice and fancy. So this was the old packaging, this is the new packaging. So a lot fancier looking. So that one is Pasadena, and that one is Cape Town. Yeah. The reason I love these is they are pigmented, they glide on really well, they wear really well, but they're not super drying. And when they start to kind of wear away, they more like fade versus giving you that like there or not there line that most liquid lipsticks do. So yes, these are amazing. They smell amazing, like vanilla extract. Oh my gosh, I love the scent. Um, and yeah, they pretty much have a ton of colors, so you probably can find something you would love in the line. And then the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lip Colors. These are awesome because they're so comfortable on the lips. So, so comfortable. Not transfer proof, that's what you're looking for. These are not that. These are very moussey, very comfortable, still long wearing. They start off um, where they feel more moussey and they move more, but this one I've been wearing a while and it's pretty much transfer proof at this point. So it kind of like sets on your lips a little bit. They're just awesome. They smell amazing. They smell like, um, I don't know why I'm just holding this up. I'm not even telling you what these colors are. I'm just talking about something else, holding up some random swatches. So they smell really good. They smell like brownie batter. They smell incredible. Let me show you some swatches. So first off, this one is hemp. And then the one over here is wink. So they have a lot of really good neutral everyday colors, browns, pinks, nudes. And then what I have on my lips right now is Juju. So there are three different ones for you guys to see. Awesome. So if you're not a liquid lip color, a liquid lipstick fan, try these because they really are a different sort of formula. And actual lipsticks, I have some favorites to mention to you. Maybelline, I feel like can do no wrong when it comes to lipsticks. They come out with new collections all the time and I love them all. I just feel like they do lipsticks right. Some people hate the scent. I actually kind of like the scent at this point because I love Maybelline lipsticks. So the scent has like grown on me and reminds me of a Maybelline lipsticks that I love. It's like a Play-Doh-y kind of a scent. It's sort of weird, but I still kind of love it. 
So first off, this one is Clay Crush. These are two of my favorite shades in the whole line. Clay Crush is one of their creamy mattes. This is one of my favorite formulas from them. Super duper comfortable, matte, long wearing. They have a ton of shades. So they have neutral colors like this, but also brights, pinks, reds, everything. And then this one is one of the Loaded Bolds. This is Gone Grage. The Loaded Bolds has some really fun colors. So if you like blues, purples, grays, dark colors, vampy colors, just kind of um, edgy or different sort of colors, try the Loaded Bolds. These are more, um, slightly more satiny cream finish, but still very long wearing and comfortable. Um, not quite as long wearing as these because um, they're not fully matte but pretty close, not that much of a difference. And this one over here is one of my Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipsticks. This is in the shade Sugar Cane, and this is a beautiful everyday sort of a pink color, but I love all of these. I do have a lip swatch party coming up at some point soon, hopefully, of my collection of these because, or really my Bite Beauty lipstick collection in general because I love Bite Beauty lipsticks. I love that they're more natural. They're food grade ingredients, so te technically you could eat off your lipstick if you wanted to, because it's made with more natural ingredients. And that's nice about it, but also they're great lipsticks. I mean, these, these right here, the Amuse Bouche, shocked me with how comfortable they feel on the lips. I, like, I figured they would be comfortable, but what shocked me is they're really comfortable, but then they're really long wearing. So you wouldn't think that when you first put them on because they're so comfortable feeling on the lips, but then they wear super duper well and when they start to kind of wear off, they just fade naturally. So they're an easy, low maintenance sort of a lip color. It's not gonna start looking funky on your lips throughout the day. It just like wears off nicely. Now onto skincare. I do switch out some of my skincare fairly regularly, but the things that I picked are ones that I use really regularly, and then I just switch out what I kind of add in with these products. So I use these really, really regularly, but then I'll sometimes like try other things with these too. Hope that makes sense. So first off is my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I use this a lot for taking off eye makeup. I use this a lot with my lip swatch parties, and this has saved my lips for lip swatch parties because it's so hydrating and comfortable. This one is a newer one. There's a hair in it. This one is a newer one, so I haven't used as much of this, but I have another one over here actually that's getting near being finished. But it's just a really creamy cleansing balm that just melts away the makeup, but it's also really hydrating to the skin, so it just feels nice. So if you are doing a lot of trying on different lipsticks or something like that, or just, I don't know, if you want something gentle that's gonna hydrate and feel good while removing your makeup, try this because it's really, really nice. I wanna give a really quick honorable mention to the Murad line. Yes, I do still have these in the boxes. I keep a lot of stuff in its original boxes. I don't know why I do that, but I just do. So I like to keep these in their boxes because they have like information about the products in there, so. That's part of the reason I keep them in their boxes, but also I just do for some reason. <laughs> so I love the Murad line and it is one that is a go-to for me. I switch out which products I use from the line because they have so many different products, but it's just one that I know I can count on. So that's why I wanted to mention it to you. I love this one for when I'm having kind of like a breakout time for some reason. This is the um, anti-aging acne line. It's one of my favorites from their, from their line. This is the skin perfecting lotion, and this is the advanced acne and wrinkle reducer. These are awesome. Like it just helps to address the acne, but also helps to fight signs of aging. I also love their vitamin C line. I love their like straight anti-aging line. They just make great skincare. So I wanted to give them a mention. And these two oils are my most consistently used skincare products. I love these oils. So I'll switch out other things that I add in with these, but I don't want to not use these oils. So that's why I'll just add in things, but keep using these. I've just seen the biggest difference in my skin since using these oils. First off is the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argon Oil Organic Moisturizing Oil. So I have tried other argon oils from other brands and they were nice, but 
Once I tried this, I don't even remember how I got a bottle of this. I don't know if it was a point perk or if I got it in gratis or if I just decided to give it a try one day. I really honestly don't remember. But once I tried this one, I was like, oh, this argan oil seems different to me. Like to me personally, I see a way bigger difference in this one specifically than other argan oils that I've tried. Just in the smoothness of my skin, texture, discoloration, it just overall made my skin look smoother and more evened out. It's hydrating. I put this all over my skin. I look like an oil slick when I go to bed at night. I only use these oils at night. They're too hydrating for my combo oily, sometimes normal skin for during the day. But at night, I love like an oil slick. I use so much of this. I just, I put it on my hands, I put it on my neck, love it. And then this is the Kate Somerville Delo Oil Restorative Treatment. So this one is supposed to help with um, fine lines, wrinkles, and I feel like it's doing that. I feel like it, the nights that I use this, I wake up and the next morning, I feel like my skin just looks smoother. Like I don't notice, um, it doesn't look dry. It doesn't look, uh, the little fine lines don't look accentuated. They look more smoothed out. So, and the more that I use it consistently, I feel like it's helping with it. So I can see a difference with this oil. I am just so impressed with it. I did get this in, not this size, but I got a little sample one in gratis and I let it sit there for a while and then decided one day to give it a try and just fell in love with this oil. And I don't really hear anybody talking about it, but it's one of my skincare loves. Now on to hair care. So first off, I want to talk about my trio that I use when my hair is wet and I'm about to style it. So these are the three go-to products for me. First off, I use my Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I feel like this helps give my hair thickness helps it hold the style, helps the style last longer, helps keep my hair from being as oily. It just helps the longevity and how my style works. It just helps, it just helps. And then this is the Aero Body Fusion Spray In Volumizer. My mom got this at her hair care, what's that called? Hair stylist, not hair care specialist. <laughs> her hair stylist, and she had told her that this was a great volumizer, so my mom bought me a bottle to try. Love this stuff. Like I spray it right in my roots, kind of rub it in. This helps to give my hair thickness. I can tell the days that I've forgotten to use this, my hair is more flat. It just doesn't have texture to it. It doesn't have thickness to it. So when I style it, it just, my hair is baby fine and soft, which I'm thankful my hair is soft, but it just lays. So this helps to give it some thickness to it. And then this is my go-to um, mousse. I've loved this forever. The Not Your Mother's Whip It Up Cream Styling Mousse. It says builds body, thickens strands, tames frizz, non-sticky. I feel like it does all those things. Smells amazing. Like cupcakes, it smells incredible. That's why I first tried it, but I love the formula of it too. It doesn't feel sticky, just helps give my hair hold and makes my hair smell good. If you've watched my empties video, you know my go-to hairspray is the Garnier Fructis Full and Plush Volume Hairspray. I use this every day, and I use this multiple times a day, and I go through a lot of hairspray. Because <laughs> I feel like if I don't use hairspray, my style doesn't hold, my hair gets flat. This helps to hold everything that I've created with these other products. It just helps hold that style and not, my hair is very, because it's so fine, it blows everywhere in the, in the wind. And when it blows, it doesn't hold the style. It just blows the style out. So this helps to hold it in there. While those others do help as well, this helps to kind of like lock it in place. And it's super affordable and smells nice. And I have three dry shampoo type products. First is my Bumble and Bumble Preta Powder. It says it's equal parts dry shampoo, style extender, and volume in a pinch. So this was a game changer for me to be able to get in the habit of not washing my hair every day. This really does work so well to not only absorb the oil, but give your hair volume again. If you have fine hair that's also oily at the roots, that's really what you need. It's not just something, I don't want just something that's gonna absor absorb the oil. I want something that's gonna give me volume too because it just makes such a difference. And 
I will even use this on clean hair days. I will use all three of these on clean hair days just for the volume and the texture at my roots. So this works so well. It's amazing. This is the Garnier Fructis Volume Extend Instant Bodifier Dry Shampoo. This is actually for fine or flat hair. And I feel like it does the same kind of thing, that it helps to absorb the oil, but also pump up your roots and just give you some volume there and just some texture and just helps it not look bleh. You know, when your hair looks bleh, you want something that's gonna help it not do that. So this helps to counteract the bleh in your roots. It's great. And then this is the Kenra Volume Dry Shampoo. <laughs> Dry Shampoo. <laughs> shampoo. Oil absorbing shampoo. This is also awesome as well. This is very similar to the Preta powder and also the um, Garnier too. It helps to absorb the oil and give awesome volume. This is awesome too on even uh, clean hair days especially. I use this one probably the most of the three on clean hair days. Just when I want some texture and something to my hair a little bit more. If I feel like I need I need a little bit more volume at the roots, I'll grab this. It works amazingly. And the last category for body care, I could really only think of one thing that I loved enough to mention for an overall favorite for the year, and it would be my Josie Marin Whipped Argon Oil. This one is in Orange Cream Sickle, so this was part of like a special set. She'll come out with different scents, you know, throughout the year, QVC or whatever, but these are awesome. This smells amazing. So I love this scent. If this comes out in another set, I love this scent. But it, this is so moussey and hydrating and just, I mean, amazing. It just feels so nice on the skin. It absorbs in. It's so hydrating. So it's not just that it smells good. You know, I love other products for just the scent. And while they might be a little bit moisturizing, this is so nice in the scent, but also so, so hydrating as well. So it just feels probably the best of any body care product. This one I think feels the best on the skin. It's awesome. All right guys, so that officially wraps up my 2016 favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what your overall favorites for 2016 were, either in these categories that I just covered in this video, or even the ones from my other video. I would just love to know what you were loving this year. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.